Hey, what's up guys? Um, as you can see, my wrist is in a uh, thing. Um, those of you who don't know, I have arthritis. I have issues in my joints. My hands lock into place a lot and currently my wrist is in a lot of pain. I've had my pain meds and I'm gonna have to wear this today because I just, I, it, the pain is too much for me. I'm vlogging because I want to show that I can still manage. And this is one of the things that actually gets me really, really down at times. Like, I'm 20 and I have issues with my joints and it scares me because I'm only 20. Like, what's gonna happen in the future? But, you know, you have to pull through, you have to manage and kind of why I'm vlogging this because I think it's such an important thing. So, yeah. Get the thumbnail, shall we? This vlog is about my physical health issues, which you can see I have this on my hands today. Um, I don't talk about my physical health very often. I talk more about mental health than that and how it impacts me. Today, I wanted to show you kind of that I do have physical health stuff and it impacts my mental health. Like, my anxiety is so bad because when I have this on, I get scared that people are judging me and thinking, oh, she's too young to have these health conditions. And I don't know, it just really, impacts me in a very negative way and the negativity of it it just it pisses me off i very often won't wear this because i get so afraid of judgment and it's only recently that i've actually started to get more confidence with myself and started wearing it because it, it affects when i wear this i i it saves a lot of pain i have a lot of pain in my hands because all change, all change, please. like the pain i have in my hands is unbearable and i have a lot of pain medication i have pain medication and i don't i don't talk about my physical health enough and I'm, i want to start and this vlog is kind of me introducing the subject so yeah i'm just waiting for my train as well and i'm vlogging in public on my own i'm proud of myself why it's so nice not being in pain and i might actually start wearing it more i'm currently waiting for the next underground i've only had one person comment so far on it it was some random person in the tree that's like oh it's your hand okay i was like yeah it's fine like, just at the right issue you now living life and he's like oh you're quite young i was like yeah i don't know and just pretty understanding his life it's a bit isn't it yep so uh, pretty helpful so one this one i want the next one not the next one the one after oh god how many of minutes wait Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the little vlog clips you just saw. Today I'm talking about my arthritis and I spoke briefly about this previously. I've never done a dedicated video on this subject because I've always been so afraid of judgement because I get a lot of comments from both people I know, people I've been with and just people who are part of my past say hey you're too young to have arthritis and it's it's so it it's a hard thing like imagine having this condition that is known for affecting older people and being 20. i was 17 when i was diagnosed with arthritis i'm 20 now and being 20 and knowing that i've been diagnosed with this condition for three years it doesn't it doesn't bother me anymore like the pain it hurts like i have pain medication i have been to physiotherapy, I have exercises I have to do, I have a wrist splint, I can't do things that other people my age can do, I couldn't go rock climbing if I wanted to, I couldn't go bowling if I wanted to. I find it very hard to do handwritten stuff after a bit because my arm just hurts, the pain in my joints is so unreal. So I have to use a laptop a lot of the time and being the only person in a class of around 10 people that uses a laptop, it's a bit hard always has been i found uni it's been harder than it was at college and the reason being is everyone uses notebooks everyone just writes it down and when you're watching a film in class because i do i am doing a film degree you're the only one with a lit up bloody screen and you can't take notes because you end up turning it off while the film's on then you lift it up and you can't remember anything and it's had such a negative impact on my studies and i don't want to talk too much about how it's affected my studies because i am getting used to it again i'm i try my best with what i do and another thing is is when i'm filming because of my degree i do film production i can't hold the cameras i can't set up the tripods we have and that's what is really hard about it and people forget that when you say 
like jokingly say, oh, well, you use secretly 70, it's like, well, I fucking feel it. Because like, if my wrists are on a bad day, I can't even use fucking knives and forks. And it's so hard. It, it has affected my mental health. And when I was first diagnosed with it, that was when my mental health really declined. That year was the same year I stopped eating. It was the same year my self-harm got really bad. It was the same year I moved out of my mom's. Same year I got kicked out of my mom's. It was the same year that I tried to kill myself. It was the first ever serious suicide attempt I made when I was 17. And it was after I got diagnosed because I got convinced that it was going to ruin my life. And it stopped me doing a lot of things. I can't sit here and tell it. I can't stand around pretending it's not, it doesn't affect me because it does. It causes a lot of issues for me. Like, I don't wear the wrist splint as much as I should because I get very I don't know if it's the right word but I get very ashamed of it I get very self-conscious I get a feeling that people are judging me and because I automatically assume the worst in every situation I get very very anxious about it it has really really impacted my mental health and people don't understand how much it affects me being only 20 and getting told that hey you've got this incurable thing with your joints that's only gonna get worse with time it, it's hard. It really is because I can't do a lot of the things that people my age can do. I can't and I can't do anything to change that and accepting that is so hard. I can't even stand here and say that I'm over it, that I'm used to it because I'm not. Like to a point like pain I can deal with. I'm so used to it now because I've had pains in like my wrist since I was about 12 so that's gone on for a long time but no it just knowing that I've got this issue that I will never be able to get over, it affects me and it scares me because in my mind I'm like well things are this bad now, how are they going to be in 10 years, in 20 years and when I have people around me saying oh you, you like jokingly saying oh well you know you're just 20 going on 70 and it's like it's alright for you to joke and I'll laugh along but it's fucking it's hard and I haven't sworn this much in a video in a long time yesterday was the first day since I moved to London that I've worn the wrist splint out <laughs> and that sounds like such a small achievement but I've n for the last month that I've lived in London I haven't worn it at all I've been too afraid to go out wearing it because I've been too afraid of judgement and then yesterday I was in so much pain I was like I can't keep doing this to myself and I just wore it and the people who commented on it was very nice about it the people who I hang around with at uni they was amazing and supportive and they actually helped me a lot because I was, I was in a lot of pain yesterday as I mentioned I was in a lot of pain when I was taking notes and they ended up just taking a photo of their notes and sending it to me in the group chat and saying don't worry your hands in pain just tell us what to write and it sounds bad but just having someone offer to do that felt amazing because throughout my education I've always had people around me being like oh you can just do it like this you can do it another way and it's all well and good saying oh just use a laptop or just voice recorder but having something that makes you act differently in a class is very hard it's to say it's not the same as but it's very similar to if you have an interpreter because you're deaf or if you're blind so you have a guide dog. it's very similar when you have people judging you because you can't physically write something it's not the same judgment but it feels very directed because you are in the minority of the group because I am only 20 and my class is younger than me I'm one of the oldest people in my class and it's just hard because I do have this health condition and it is only going to get worse with time and I'm currently filming a horror show and I can't hold the camera equipment and I feel kind of useless and while well, I know I'm not and like I know I'm doing a lot of the other stuff and they're happy with me doing that I just feel like I'm not contributing enough and it just really gets me down it really does it's probably one of the only things in my health that affects me like the dissociation is a big issue anxiety is a big issue food is a big issue and arthritis is a huge issue depression is an issue but it's nothing I'm not used to I can deal with that PTSD I can deal with that what I can't deal with is the arthritis because it is physical but the effect it has on my mental health is ridiculous I get so afraid of judgment it makes my anxiety worse like when I can't physically do it, I'm in pain just writing I just I get so frustrated with myself I get a bit like well, like why can't I just fucking write you know and it's one of the things that really I need to have my medication I keep shaking <laughs> oh my god um I, I it really really does affect me and people don't understand how bad things can be when you have issues with your physical health and you have people around you joking about it you laugh along you pretend that you're fine with it and then when you're alone you just get so upset and it makes you feel horrible. I had one person who was very close to me make a joke, well are you secretly 70? And I know I keep saying that, that's one comment that, I, that really irritates me because it does affect a lot of people and it's not just older people it affects. I guess younger people are the minority with the condition but I don't like it. 
And when I, that was said to me, I remember going home after a weekend and I just cried. I was like, I can never go back to how I was before. I can never go back to writing pages and pages and pages of where. I can never go back to just drawing for fun when I want to. I have to do it. I can draw still, but I can do it a bit at a time. I can't do it all in one go. And just being in this position is, is horrible. It is horrible. It's the worst thing ever. It really is. Because it has such a impact on your mental health that you start thinking like, well, why can't I just be like everyone else? I do think that when that was diagnosed, it made my health a lot worse. I mean, my mental health terrible. Because yes, I had an answer as to why I was in so much pain, but I was also told that I could never get better from it. I could do things to improve it, but it would eventually get worse. And I don't know. I'm 20. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. If anyone else is struggling with something like this, just know you're not alone. If anyone struggles with anything, you're not alone. There are people out there and you can get through it. I'm not going to say that it gets easier. It definitely gets a bit easier with time, but it's hard, you know? Life is hard. I'm going to do a bit of self-promoing now, so love me. Uh, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I do a lot of mental health content. This is kind of the exception. Physical health this is, but mental health is my main content type. I started a second channel. Well, I'm starting a second channel Wednesday this week, and yeah. Uh, I wrote a book this year. Um, it's linked in the description. There'll be a new book coming out this year, which I'm excited for. It should be out at the end of this month, if not, start next month. I also have a Twitter and Instagram and Facebook if you don't want to follow me on that, a link in the description. Leave a comment down below with any video requests or questions you may have, and I will answer them in my next video, or in a future video if they're a question. Or if it's a video request, I'll make that. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Right, I'm gonna get back into my pajamas and take off the top from yesterday because I wanted this video to be consistent, so I like put on yesterday. Stuff. Now I'm gonna get back into bed because I'm tired. Okay. I'm really tired. Oh. Do I do the hand thing or do I walk off? I think I should do the hand thing. Let's do the hand thing. Woo.